Hello and welcome to Little Pi. Today I'm going to show you how to modify an NACA aerofoil with X-foil. We're going to vary the thickness and camber to see what happens. This is part two of the tutorials. Okay, first run X-foil and then load up the NACA 2210 aerofoil by typing in NACA 2210 and pressing enter. Now let's run it and see how it performs. So we type Offer and then we type V 13E6. Put the Reynolds number as 13 million. Okay, type ITER 180. Have 180 iterations per run and then type C 0.5. Now this gives a CD of 0.00499 and a moment coefficient of minus 0.0369. Okay, let's see if we can improve the drag coefficient without making the moment coefficient any worse. So press enter to return to the main menu. Now type GDES to get into the geometry design routine menu. Like that. Okay. Now the output screen changes and you'll get some geom geom geometric properties of the aerofoil. As you can see it's got the area, the thickness, the camber and the RLE is the leading edge radius and the delta theta TE is the trailing edge angle. Okay, so an easy way to improve the drag is to move the thickness high point further back along the airfoil. So type high press enter. Now this changes the output screen to show the thickness distribution and the camber split out. Notice how the thickness distribution looks very much like a 0010 aerofoil. The 4 series NACA aerofoils are built around a common thickness formula with a constant to set the thickness and the camber is also a common formula with a thickness factor. Let's move the high point back to 45% of cord and see what happens. So we type in 0 0.45 to move the thickness back and we'll leave the camber where it is. So the camber is at 0.2 so we'll put in 0.2 again and you can see the output screen with the new layout in purple and that's shown the thickness distribution moving back along the aerofoil. Okay so type X for execute and then press enter and then OPER and then type C.5 to see what the difference is. Okay, so you'll notice that the drag's actually gone up instead of down, which isn't meant to happen when we get more of a laminar flow. Notice the CP at the front of the aerofoil, the yellow section, is a bit of a mess, so we better clean this up. Hit enter to go to the main menu and then type MDES to go to the complex mapping design routine. Notice how the QV curve wobbles around. This won't be conducive to smooth flow and so that'll give us more drag. So let's type filter which is FILT. Notice how the purple line is more of an average. Let's zoom in to see what's going on. So type in Blow, or you can just type B actually, so B, and then we'll just click in on the leading edge. So just click sort of once up here and once down there, and it's zoomed in. Okay, now we'll type filter again. Oh, you've got to click on the main menu, sorry, the main screen. Type filter, and you can see how it's cleaned it up. So we'll do it three more times. And remember you can press the up arrow to repeat any command you want. So we go up, built. See how it's getting better every time. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now let's Okay, let's let's go back to look at the overall view, which is reset or R. And you can see how it smooths out the whole thing. 
Okay, let's type X to execute this design routine. And then let's see it's a type pane, so we'll type enter to go back to the main menu and P A N E to smooth that out a bit. Okay, let's see how it runs. So type opera and C.5. And yeah, from that you can see that it's improved quite a bit. So we've improved the drag and the moment. The lift on drag ratio has improved by 9%. You can also see how the leading edge has been smoothed out. Anytime you cause an acceleration to the flow, you cause more drag. So smoothing it out has reduced the drag. Let's go back to the geometry menu and see what other changes we can make. So we press enter and we try GDES. Okay. Okay, let's make it a very thin aerofoil. So we'll type in T set for thickness setting. Okay, let's type in 0.06 to make it 6% thick and let's drop the camber down to 1% so we go 0.01 for the max camber and as you can see it's thinned that airfoil quite a lot so type X to execute it enter to go back to the main menu we'll type MDES and we'll smooth it out again because it looks a bit lumpy So let's run filter just with we're here. There you go. Okay, so we'll execute that. Drop to the main menu. Type pane for repaneling. Hopper. And check out lift of coefficient of 0.5. Okay. And you can see the drag's gone up. So, yeah, a thin aerofoil isn't a particularly good way to produce lift. So let's have a look at what the minimum drag is. So we'll type in a sequence of alphas. So we go AS, and we'll start at 0, up to 4, and we'll go in 0 0.25 steps. So the minimum drag, as you can see, is, um, where are we? At 1.75, so we'll type alpha 1.75, and there it is. So, yeah, the minimum drag is actually reasonably low, but it doesn't give you much lift. Okay, and let's Look at what happens if you change all sorts of cambers and thickness coefficients. You can play around with these yourself. If you go to the GDES, or sorry, press enter and then GDES, and T set lets you set the thickness. So let's put this to 15% thick, and we'll beef up the camber a bit. We'll go 0.02 back to what it should be. Well, as you can see, that's a bit of a mess of an airfoil. So what happens if you shrink and then enlarge, sometimes there's rounding areas and it doesn't look too flash. So we'll restart the airfoil again and then go back to the geometry routine and now we'll put it to 15% thick and camera 0.02. As you can see it's a bit of a, a neater way to do it. So let's execute it. Press enter, go to the MDEV to make sure it's clean. That doesn't look too bad. We'll filter again just because we're here. Execute it, press enter, run the paneling again. Go to the operating menu and C.5. As you can see, the, the lift is good and the drag has gone up a little bit. So you can play around with different thicknesses and cambers and also the location of the high points. And we'll show you a picture here of some variations we ran and you can play around with yourself play around with it yourself okay this is the end of part two of the tutorial please subscribe and hit the bell so you get an email